What is up guys? I'm back on the east side looking for octopus. I'm in the car because it's pretty windy and lots of cars are going by out there so I want to get some better audio. Um, but yeah, so we're over here which is such a nice view because you can't tell where I am because I don't want to expose the zone because that's the rules. So yeah, we're out here on the east side. I'm looking for octopus, taco, hey, hey. That's uh, English, Japanese, and Hawaiian respectively. And I don't really have a dinner plan for it. I mean, last time I came out here, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna catch like five octopus. Literally caught nothing except for a big thing of uh, marine waste. So if you didn't see those videos yet, uh, I'll link them in the description. Wait till the end of this one and then go check those out. Um, but yeah, so today we're after octopus. Hopefully I get something. If you're watching this, it means that I there was some reason to watch this video because I'm not going to make the video with catching nothing. So we already know that I, I something has happened if you're watching this. But if I'm, I might be shooting myself in the foot right now and jinxing myself by saying that I'm going to get something and then I don't. So I have no idea what's going to happen out there. Hopefully I can get a couple of octopus. Um, God, my hair. Ah! And then, uh, and then, yeah, we'll go cook them up. And I'm gonna actually do it right this time. The last time I got an octopus, I messed it up. I was really sad about that. So I'm determined to cook the octopus properly and uh, hopefully get enough that I can serve some friends. So let's get in the water. What is up guys? I made it out into the water. It was kind of a struggle because the uh, waves and wind and current are all kind of moving and pulling. I hope this audio is good because I can feel my buoy is banging on the GoPro, but uh, yeah, so we're out here. I'm drifting quite a bit uh, towards the north direction. I'm just gonna try to push against that a little bit and uh, maybe use that current just a little bit to drift down and so that I can fully focus on looking at the bottom. Don't have to look at like uh, where I'm swimming or whatever. So just gonna ride that current, maybe fight it a little bit, just see where I end up and hopefully get some octopus. Not what I'm looking for. I saw a big manini in there and then that puffer fish came right out. So hopefully manini will show face again. I want to pop that. Manini online. <clears throat> oh, I, th I thought I speared the hell out of him and then the, the one ran away. I'm not sure if I'd put a mark through him or not, but yeah, that's on. So we're gonna finish him off and we'll bag that. This is a slipper lobster, out of season right now, so I'm putting him back. Well, that's it guys, uh, I'm giving up for today. So, I'll see you up on shore and we'll talk about what we got. Oh, that was a major struggle. Um, <laughs> caught one fish, lost my knife. Trying to look on the bright side, my truck didn't, didn't get stolen, so I guess that's good. Uh, and it was beautiful. Uh, not the water, but the sky, which you guys literally never saw any of. So, I, I still can't give up hope on this place. I really, really 
think it's it has the potential because I, I keep seeing that dude pull octopus out of here so I think that you can catch here I just I don't know I gotta figure it out um, <laughs> my nose is feeling so bad so I'm gonna show you guys the one fish that I got there we go little manini um, not too little it's definitely legal so not worried about that uh, but not a huge one either I haven't caught one in a while so it's good to get one of those online little snack uh, but what I think I'm gonna do is so I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna go diving tomorrow uh, with a friend I'm not sure who uh, but one friend said that she wanted to hang out and then I'm gonna invite my boy uh, to come dive too so we'll see who's there uh, we'll definitely get something tomorrow and then cook it up uh, so stay tuned okay bye Got one. Woo. He told me there was a Mempachi down here. Got one right away on my first dive at the Mempachi zone. And uh, yeah, he looked at me and I said, that's enough of that. And ooh, I knew I barely got him on, so I wanted to dive all the way into that cave and make sure I got him all the way on the spear. And yeah, let's just... Okay, now he's not going anywhere. What's up guys? So I finally got out there uh, with my friend Brittany, but she wasn't spearing. She was just hanging out and watching. And uh, so I got a Manini and a Mempachi and I also got this crazy, crazy eel. So that's gonna be in a different video. If you guys wanna see me catch and cook that eel, uh, make sure you subscribe because that's gonna be the next video that I po post. So you're not you're not gonna wanna miss that one. Yeah, I got a Mempachi and a Manini. I'll show you guys that right now. And then I also got the Manini from yesterday that you guys saw. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna cook up that all right now, have a little lunch. Here we go, Manini Mempachi, and then I'll give you guys just a little sneak peek. Oops. So they're not the biggest fish, but it'll be enough to give us lunch. Um, definitely legal size, which is good. There's a struggle out there today, honestly. Um, yeah, that was a tough kind of dive. <laughs> so this whole video has just been a struggle, honestly, but at least I got these. And then, oh, who's this? The eel, he's so big. So you're not gonna wanna miss watching me catch and cook that. Make sure you subscribe. What's up guys, we're back in the home zone. I made Brittany come. <laughs> Woo! And uh, we've got these three fish on deck. The Manini and Mempachi that we caught today. And then this manini that I caught yesterday, I made a mistake of putting it in the freezer. I probably could have just put it in the fridge on ice and it would have been fine, but it accidentally got frozen. So I'm just defrosting it right now. Feels like it's almost there. What is that that just got on my hand out of the fish? I don't wanna know. I guess he's a guy. So we're gonna <laughs> so we're gonna cut these up. I'm not doing a cinematic today. If you guys love the cinematics, I'm sorry. Uh, you can give me crap in the comments or dislike the video or whatever you want to do. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna cut these up and then fry them. Super simple kind, just like we always do. And then we're gonna eat it.
cứu giờ That side came out just right. All right, Brittany, thanks so much for helping film. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, we're ready to eat. Uh, so I know you guys saw this getting prepared. So now it's gonna cool off for just a little bit and then we are gonna pick in. Brittany has never had fish like this it's before. Hot. She's it's afraid to eat the skin. Oh, it's still too hot. It's good. <laughs> it's hot. Just blow on it. Just break a piece off and blow on it. Mm. Tastes good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my fat stomach. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, that's it for us today, guys. We're gonna finish eating these delicious fish that we made. Um, if you were wondering what seasoning put it up, I put on them, just uh, Himalayan salt. I can tell I got a little bit too much salt in this one, but it's all good. Um, and then King Arthur's flour and uh, Frank's Red Hot, they had some kind of Frank's Red Hot powder. So I grabbed that and put that on, and that's pretty good because I like spicy a lot. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, hopefully next time I can finally find those octopus that I was after. I'm still just struggling on the octopus train. Um, if you guys know an octopus master, send me up with them please because I need help on my taco game. Um, yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>